Hi, so when programming quite a bigger projects in C++, I realized that it is good to actually take care of the compilation time, not only the runtime, because, well, sometimes you might even wait 10, 20, even 30 minutes if your CPU is not literally the newest one possible. So here are some tips from me that actually help me to develop a better compilation time in my projects. So the first tip would be to just use the for declarations, here you can see I have a class, 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 some struct. We can also use enums and whatnot. And this is like the first basic thing that we can use to actually reduce the compilation time because instead of including something to use a certain type, we actually just say, well, it exists. We can use a pointer or a reference and the compilator will handle that for us. Another tip would be to check what's inside a certain include and then use the type. For example, if I want to use a Vulkan, Vulkan actually uses its own types that are not exactly pointers on the high level because it uses the using and other kind of like language semantics to actually make a certain type. And I need to actually check what's the exact type and see that, okay, it's a pointer to VK image underscore T and not just VK image. This way I can skip the inclusion of the Vulkan file and therefore just use the VK image T as a pointer, therefore reducing the compilation time. The third tip would be to use the macros. I can remove a lot of code that could be either a branch in runtime, which would sometimes be costly, or just more memory for a certain type, as a, just a simple macro check. Do I want to use that? Do I want to use a certain debug options or a certain test options or whatever it might be? I can just put it in the macro and make sure that the running application after every single random things that I do have as little as amount of code as possible. Here in this example, I'm just doing an if def on the whole file and in the CVP file, as you can see, it's the same. I'm doing as little as possible. The fourth tip would be to just use a certain structures or objects as only in CPP files. For example, here I have two structs. Those structs are only and only used inside the CPP file. Therefore, there's no point for me to have them in the header file because whenever I include the header file, I will also include a certain code for the structs. And well, I don't need it. So anything that can be moved to only CPP file, of course, still taking care of the scalability, still taking care that it's like simple to use and works out of the box. Then after taking care of like the basic code structure, we can move every single thing that we can into our CPP files. And well, this helps literally a lot. The fifth tip would be to pretty much just reduce the amount of code in the header file as in don't use a simple getters or setters. Because sometimes, of course, it does not include to every file, but sometimes when you have a very basic file, let's say you object in Unreal or you're doing a class that is included like everywhere or just a file that is included everywhere. If you do a simple change to a getter or a setter, anything it is, it takes a lot of time. And all in all, I believe it's a time waster. Like sure, maybe we get few less cycles that will be optimized anyway, I believe, but uh, yeah. Try to remove as much code as you can from the header file. Try to remove the includes, try to remove the creation of certain objects if we don't need them. And yeah, that would be it from me. Thank you for watching. Cheers.